Roscoe. Hello YouTube world, pretend farmer here. Not a real farmer, just pretending. Somebody asked if lime could be used as a dewormer for your chickens. And based off of everything pretend farmer has researched, I wouldn't even feed it to them really. I don't think there's any benefits to it. But we're going to talk about what we actually do here to deworm our chickens. Now if you were to take a survey, most of your backyard chicken farmers are using this as a dewormer. And this stuff has several purposes. It can help you can powder your chickens or mix it into their dust bath to help control mites in your coop. You can spread it down on the floor of your coop. It kills mites because it's got like a crystallite structure and it'll cling to the exoskeleton on mites and other bugs. It kills them. And that can really help your chickens out in the middle of summer if you get a mites problem. So keep that in mind. But also, this stuff here is food grade. In diatomaceous earth, people have been known to mix a few scoops in with the chicken feed. There's really no set ratio. But this is said to be a good dewormer for your chickens. We've never really had worm problems with our chickens. But we do feed them foods as kind of a preventative measure for worms. And we've talked before about how pumpkins and other types of foods you can feed them act as a not necessarily a dewormer, but they create an environment in the chicken's intestines that's not pleasant for worms to be in. It's kind of like a preventative tool. Well, Pretend Farmer did some research, and I found that there's a lot of foods that are not necessarily scientifically proven, but people have sworn by these for a long time that they work to deworm chickens. They also have a couple other benefits. Let's take a look at them. Fun fact, a lot of your old timers used to swear by putting cayenne pepper in with their chicken feed. And the reason why is because in the cold winter months, they claimed that the hot pepper would warm the chickens up and uh, it would cause them to produce more eggs. So cayenne pepper can be a good thing to mix in with their food, maybe get you some more eggs during the cold winter months when they're not laying as heavy. Also, cayenne pepper and all peppers, really, all hot peppers for chickens, they can't taste the hot stuff like we do. Chickens do not have the taste receptors in their taste buds to taste the hot stuff that makes us pant and sweat and turn red and all that stuff. They don't have that reaction. So you can feed your chickens banana peppers, jalapenos, ghost peppers, hottest pepper in the world. You feed it to your chickens. It's not even going to phase them. The ingredient that actually makes hot stuff hot, the chemical in there that's called, uh, I can't say it, but Pretend Farmer is going to put it on the screen. The stuff that makes the hot peppers hot is actually an ingredient that's good for your chicken's digestive systems. It helps kill off a lot of the bad bacteria in there. And a lot of people swear that this stuff is a good dewormer to feed your chickens. So what we've done here on the pretend farm is we took everything we researched about how to naturally deworm chickens and we kind of put together a little treat here for the chickens that we're going to give them and it should help with hopefully deworming, maybe preventing any worms and if it doesn't do any of those things then it's definitely at least going to be a good treat for their digestive system. Now, since it's kind of hard to mix some of this stuff up in with their layer pellets in their feeder, we just put together a plate full of eggs. They're a little more porous and spongy. They'll absorb some of these ingredients a little better. And I think overall it'll help the chickens to digest and process it a little bit better than if we just dumped this in their feeder. We've scrambled them some eggs. I know that's really ironic, but, you know, we mixed some jalapenos in with these eggs cooked them, and what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle some of this cayenne pepper on there, and we're going to throw it to them pretty heavy because, like we've already discussed, they can't taste it. And so these chickens, they're going to have a pretty healthy load of cayenne pepper on their eggs, and then we're going to take some crushed red peppers just for good measure, and we're going to put some of these on there too. Uh, you know, really just trying to get some hot peppers in these chickens. Now, it is pouring rain outside, but I still think they're going to rush to eat this because they love treats. Another thing that can be really good for a chicken's digestive health is apple cider vinegar. 
Now, a lot of people will just take a couple tablespoons of this stuff and mix in with their chicken's waterer, and uh, it just kind of dilutes. They'll drink it. Very easy to dose. And there again, there are people who claim that they believe this helps with worms in their birds. Now, maybe you don't really care about doing things naturally. You say, well, just tell me what medicine to give my chickens that's going to deworm them. Currently, there's really only one thing available that really is a medicated chicken dewormer. And that would probably be something along the lines of your safeguard. Uh, it's got a, a chemical in it called fur, fur blah, 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 blah. Anyway, that is an actual known dewormer. It's got a very low toxicity, but I would still, if you're going to go that route, don't plan on eating the eggs for a week or two. Just let it get out of their system. We actually did a review on the safeguard dewormer for our pigs. It worked great for them. It doesn't specifically say it's for chickens on the bag. Just use a low dosage. It's the same ingredients, really. You just scale back for the smaller size of the bird, and that will act as a dewormer that I can tell you absolutely works for your birds. If you don't believe me, just watch the video we did. We've proved that it works. But if you want to do things more naturally, try the things that we showed you in this video I think they'll work out good for you. We're probably not going to treat aggressively for worms unless we ever suspect we have a problem with them. And, you know, if we keep doing these things here, like the apple cider vinegar and the hot peppers, a little bit of cayenne pepper here and there, hopefully they don't ever become a problem. So let's go back out here now in the rain and see, did the chickens enjoy their hot pepper treat? Well, that is the best natural way we could come up with for how to deworm your chickens. Uh, these hot peppers, the cayenne pepper, uh, they're, they're all good for their digestive system. You want to feed them in moderation because too much of anything can be bad. They seem to enjoy it and it's good for them. I'd encourage you to treat your chickens with this about every month or so. Well, pretend farmer is going to go back inside where it's dry and figure out what kind of chickens we want to get this spring. We got a broody hen right now. We have a neighboring pretend farmer that just stuffs some eggs under that hen for us to hatch for. And we're probably going to throw in some pullets from a store whenever they hatch. That way we can keep our share of them. They can have theirs. And we've added what are hopefully all hens to our flock just to get our numbers up a little bit going into the year. And it should be a really fun, exciting thing. We hope you stick with us here on the pretend farmer. We wish you the best of luck in choosing a dewormer for your chickens. Till next time, Pretend Farmer, signing out.